Jamie, we sure will keep an eye on her, especially the travel issues right now. I want to take you outside, and this is a look at our mountain camera at Evergreen Parkway. Now, we should tell you that eastbound and westbound 70 pretty much are shut down at Golden, and I want to get it over to meteorologist Dave Aguilera. Dave, State Patrol said one of the problems they had is coming from the west up Floyd Hill from that direction. Every time they try to open it, Semis slide off, trucks can't get up, cars can't get up. Oh, They're gonna close it. it again. Oh yeah, I could believe it because you get several inches of snow an hour going on. Even if you plow it, by the time they get through the roadway, you got another bunch of snow on there, and it's all freezing over because the temperatures are so cold. This is what the blizzard looks like on our CBS4 rooftop in downtown Denver at 10th and Lincoln. We got about 10 inches on the snow pad up here on the roof, and with the snowflakes going sideways, you could tell it's windy out there, and that's the. Reason for the blizzard warning that we have from the north side of Colorado Springs all the way through Denver into southeastern Wyoming. We're going to probably see another three to six inches of snow, but the gusts of wind have been going about 35 up to 45 miles per hour, and some of those are sustained that high as well. So it just keeps on blowing, and this may continue until midnight tonight. So far, we've seen about 15 to 16 inches of snow, Castle Pines into parts of Denver, 20 to 27 Arvada into Conifer, and three feet near Netherland and Aspen Springs already. Ready, and there's more coming down. So I suspect some spots will get near that four feet of snow that we were talking about all week long. Weather watches, we got our network checking in. Tom Rupert in Centennial has a foot there. 22 inches in Westminster from Tom Clayes and 26 and a half south of Evergreen from Chris Doherty, our watcher up there. Thank you guys. I want to briefly touch it on why this took so long to come together and why it's taken so long to move out. Here's the storm right over Colorado. Now, typically when we have a fast Moving storm blowing through, it's riding the jet stream. The jet stream now is going south of the storm, and the one up to the north is going north way up into Canada. So there's no river of air driving this guy through. So the only thing that's bringing it into Colorado is the spin itself, and that's why it's taken so long to get through the central Rockies here. But when it arrived this morning, man, it really packed a punch. Thunderstorms now north of Burlington up to Sterling, and we've got the upslope snow right against the front range here as this moisture just continues. To pour right into the front range and all the way down into southern Colorado. The center of the low right now is over Lamar, and as that pushes out into Kansas tonight, things will gradually improve. But we got a couple of waves, snow right here now, and look at this next wave of moisture that's going to dump into the area tonight. That will keep the snow prolonged into the evening tonight. So, with the future cast forecast, snow continues until about midnight. This is the map of midnight, still snowing here, heavier snow just east of here, and then after midnight, it slowly starts to taper. Off tomorrow morning, it'll be snowing out here on the uh, state line of uh, Kansas and Nebraska out here. Still snowing in the mountains as well. Will be cloudy to partly sunny. We might have a few flurries here in the morning, and then by afternoon we break out. Still some light snow in the mountains, and then late afternoon from about North Denver to Fort Collins, a little passing flurry, and we might get another parting shot in Sterling and Fort Morgan at the end of the day tomorrow. High temps tomorrow, mostly 30s and 40s. We might have a few 50s out west and down into southeastern Colorado tomorrow. So in detail, here's my Denver forecast. Close to 20 for the overnight low. Heavy snow early on. I think by about 9 p.m. or so, it'll Start to taper off and then end after midnight. But we're going to keep that wind component going all the way through about 12 o'clock. And then tomorrow, mid to upper 30s, a few morning flurries, and then partly sunny and less wind tomorrow. That'll be good. Another parting system coming in on Tuesday, 37. That keeps us cold and brief snow in the afternoon. I think we're going to see several inches of snow in the mountains from that Tuesday storm. Clearing skies on St. Patrick's Day with 39, 49, and 55 on Thursday into Friday with a warming. Trend beginning that'll take us through the weekend, close to 60 both Saturday and Sunday, and then next Sunday night, a little rain snow mix. But why worry about that right now? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dave, no more snow. I think we're good right now. I, I, we'll, we got we'll our fill, right? we got. Let's yeah. just have rain now from here on out. How about that? <laughs> Thanks so much. Our app, of course, a terrific way to stay on top of updates this weekend. We'll be sending out alerts through our app and we'll live stream our newscast right in the palm of your hand, like we are at CBSN Denver. And we will continue our storm coverage.